Hello everyone, Team Tech is here. Today I have the... What? Oh, sorry to disturb you, but that's a really cool watch. Hey, don't spoil the video, man. Sorry, okay, I'm... Sorry, bye. Well, that was strange. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, I'm going to review the Garmin Vivo Smart 3, and I'll see you back after the intro. Garmin is pushing its activity tracking to a whole new level of measuring abilities in the Vivo Smart 3. The Vivo Smart 3 now has VO2 Max, fitness and strength training with rep counting too. A big task indeed to cram all of that into such a small package. Garmin has also managed to keep the price of the Vivo Smart 3 at the lower end with a $140 price tag US dollars or £130 or 200 Australian dollars. So are these new tracking metrics going to make the Garmin Vivo 3 a must-have activity tracker? Thanks to the slim silicon strap, this 21 gram activity tracker can be worn day and night without you noticing it's there. And the color options of black, purple and blue are all dark, allowing them to blend in with the background. There's a nice amount of stretch to the strap and multiple buckle lock lengths so that you can wear the Vivo Smart 3 comfortably loose without it affecting the heart rate tracking. It's also waterproof so that you can swim, shower and bath without taking it off, which lets you to completely forget it's there, which is ideal at night for sleep tracking. The silicon casing is also tough so that you don't need to worry about giving it a knock or two, which is handy if you're planning to swing your arms about in the gym workout. The rugged screen also performs really well. The OLED display seamlessly fits in the strap and offers plenty of brightness, even in a well-lit gym. The touchscreen also works surprisingly well. Double tap start and pause a workout while swipes zip between options. The resolution is fine for the job at 64 by 128 pixels, although the WhatsApp messages can take a fair bit of swiping to get through if they're really long. The only complaint with the screen is that I seem to be touching the back button unintentionally while trying to swipe. Garmin also added a raise to wake feature as well as a double tap to wake. When it comes to tracking, the Vivo Smart 3 is right up there with the best activity trackers around. Garmin has also included other features like step counting, sleep tracking, calories burned and distance travelled. You'll also get more advanced measurements like VO2 max, strength reps counting, floors climbed and even a stress score. Disappointingly, the Vivo Smart 3 doesn't connect to the GPS on your phone. The Vivo Smart 3 uses a guess at stride length, which you can edit to get more accurate reading, but it still won't be as accurate as a GPS. The Garmin Vivo Smart 3 isn't really made for the run tracking distance. It's the gym where it excels. If a running watch is what you prefer, consider something like the Garmin Vivo Smart HR Plus, which I also reviewed and the link to the video will be in the description below. Unlike a lot of other competition out there, the Vivo Smart 3 actually offers rep counting for weight training. You've probably been there before swinging and panting mid-workout only to realize you've lost counting of your reps. The rep counting on the Vivo Smart 3 does work surprisingly well, but you'll need to do at least 5 reps before it'll start counting onwards. Garmin also added an edit option if it has gotten your amount of reps incorrect. The Vivo Smart 3 has a stress measurement and if you have a high stress level, you can opt to try the guided breathing exercise to calm you. And it actually does work. For that ultimate relaxation, which is sleep, the Vivo Smart 3 is there too, still tracking away. Thanks to the auto tracking, this means both your sports and sleeping, you can just start and you'll be tracked. Sleep timing is accurate thanks to those movement sensors and the watch also measures your deep and light sleep. When using Bluetooth on your phone, the notifications work well for your messages, with WhatsApp appearing so that you can read them right there on your wrist. You can also control your music with simple screen taps and even check the weather. A nice touch on what feels like a device that should be too small to offer so many options. 
The charger is not magnetic but is just a clip. The clip attaches easily plus the device clearly shows on screen when it's charging. Battery life is 5 to 6 days. Garmin reckons you'll get 5 days of use out of the Garmin Vivo 3. In reality you can manage to squeeze about 6 days depending on how much exercise and notification reading you do. The Garmin app itself is not the greatest as it is very dark and confusing to navigate through. I have tried the Fitbit app and I really enjoy using it as it's so much more colourful and really easy to access all your stats. So should you buy it? If you don't have an activity tracker or smartwatch yet, but you want to reach a healthier you, then this is a perfect option for you. However, if you're a runner, cyclist or swimmer or do any activities outdoor that needs GPS, there are better options out there like the Garmin Forerunner 935. If you only want a step counting tracker, there are better cheaper options out there as well. But if you want a rare gym based rep counting watch, then this is an ideal option for you. That'll be all from me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Bye.